The Angel, Recycled Poetry Classics Collection, by Faye Colum Fairley, Often in my silent hours, I reflect on awesome powers, Displayed in the sun and showers, Filling the earth shore to shore, In my Bible, steady reading, Taking notes to my heart beating, Ah, do I hear a stranger creeping about at my chamber door, It's only the wind, I repeated, beating at my chamber door, only wind and nothing more. Thus spoke I to my illusion, go away with your confusion. I am seeking great infusion, but my notes fell upon the floor. Quickly then, I started stacking, hoping too, that none were lacking. Then I heard distant clacking, tapping at my chamber door. I voiced aloud, I can hear it. Could it be a friendly spirit tapping at my chamber door? Not feeling fear, but uncertain. Why the wind rustled the curtain? It filled me with uncommon hurtin. I had never felt before. So, to calm my heart's fast beating, I had to keep on repeating. It's only a spirit a fleeting spirit at my chamber door. Tis just a spirit, it's one of many friendly spirits, only this, and nothing more. I could hesitate no longer, fear is strong, but faith is stronger. Sir, said I, before I'm a goner, your attention I implore. But the fact is, I was reading, listening to my own heart beating. And so faintly you came creeping, creaking at my chamber door. Not sure that I heard you, but yet I opened wide the door, and I found darkness, nothing more. Staring into the dark abyss, hoping the spirit, I won't miss. I knew something just like this had never occurred before. The darkness could emit no light. The silence swallowed up the night. Then the wind whispered a sigh, oddly. It sounded like, forevermore? Then, I asked, forevermore. It echoed, forevermore only this, and nothing more. Quickly, I left the darkest night, I went inside where there was light. Then I heard the sound outside, but somewhat louder than before. Wide awake, but was I dreaming? Or is a friend perhaps scheming? I hope to find the answer beaming as this mystery I explore. Be still my heart as I explore, I feel it is the wind, only wind and nothing more. For the answer, I was yearning, it was somewhat disconcerting. Then just as I approached it, the wind blew open the chamber door. All my notes were quickly scattered. Some were torn, and some were tattered. But what really mattered, is how the wind blew open the heavy door. Then there came a brilliance of dancing lights upon the floor. Then I heard forevermore. There he stood, in a wondrous glow, an angel with news I should know. How long can you stay? He looked at me, and he said forevermore. I asked if he'd watch over me and keep me safe in adversity. With folded hands, he calmly said only these words, forevermore. It was only two words, but volumes he spoke with, forevermore, this, and nothing more. I asked him then if he were mine, to guard me till the end of time. Will you guide, protect and keep me safe all of this, and even more? Then with a gesture and a nod, he told me he was sent by God. He then waved his arms upward and, all of my notes were restored. Then with the movement, he restated, forevermore, quoth the angel, forevermore. I asked him many questions then, like all the hows and all the whens. I needed to have a plan, to bring him back to my chamber door. No need to beckon for me to come. I'm here with every setting sun, to watch over you till time is done. All of this, forevermore. This he said, without implore. He'll be with me forevermore. Yes, this forevermore. Soon the darkness all went away, we had talked in a bright new day. There I was. Still in dismay at the angel standing at my door. He made certain I understood, for him to stay, I must be good. Obey God's word, as we all should, and my angel will walk before. He then echoed forevermore, thus he said, at my door, only this, and nothing more. He told me then how it would be, he would always watch over me. Sometimes invisible, so I wouldn't see him here at my door. If I believe, 
and always pray he'll be here till my last day. There is no cost, it has been paid by Jesus who we all adore. With arms uplifted, he slowly sighed, forevermore. Again, he sighed, forevermore. My picture is not in a book, you won't know how I will look. Just thank God for the time he took to come to your chamber door. I might be tall, I might be fat, I might be bald, or wear a hat. But one thing is sure, it is that, I will come to your chamber door. I will wipe the troubles away from your chamber door. This I will do, and even more. How long have you been with me? Has it been years or maybe weeks? Then he said he was with me in the womb, yes, the womb and before. I thought of bad things I had done, blushed because he knew each one. Those sins will come back no more. Sins are forgiven forevermore. Surely if I could go back, I'd do them no more, but thank God they're gone forevermore. When you helped out a child in need, and fed the homeless in the street, prayed for those who needed me, I was standing at your chamber door. Through sickness, sadness, guilt or pain, I'll be with you time and again. I will see you through until the end, starting at your chamber door. The longest trip you'll ever make starts at your chamber door, I'll wait here forevermore. I've rescued you from troubled times, and gave you back peace of mind. And when you thought you were left behind, I was at your chamber door. Perhaps a beggar on the street, or a cripple with no feet. Maybe a stranger in a store, but I am there forevermore. Just as all the times before, I'll be at your chamber door. And I say forevermore. And when your time on earth is done, that's when you will need someone. I will guide you then from your earthly home to heaven's golden shore. No need to fear, I will be there, and we will ascend into the air. And then wait for others to meet us there on heaven's golden shore. There we'll stay forevermore on heaven's golden shore. Again, I say, forevermore. From Genesis to Revelations, this is true in every nation. Beginning with no hesitation, starting at the chamber door. God's word is true, never changes, from valleys to mountain ranges. The neighbors and the strangers ready to open the chamber door. Woe to them who never hear a knock at the chamber door. Woe to them. Forevermore?